So, we are still uh, dry running the program that we just saw, which is a, a calculator that is adding two numbers. Now, I am going to demonstrate how that program works using physical models. What you see in front of you is my uh, idea of the computer lab. So, here, the containers that you see are what we call the computer RAM, the memory of the computer. It is divided into many parts. And these parts are those which we shall use to store our data. For now, the entire RAM is empty. We have not reserved any part of it. So when we go to line number three where we are writing int udo, int mo, int ud, we are now reserving spaces in the RAM, which is this one here. So in that case, there is one room that we have labeled as udom. So let us assume this is the room that has been labeled udom. So when it comes to int ud, one room is labeled ud. So let us assume this is that room that was labeled ud. Then another room was labeled as mo. So int mo resulted into labeling one of these rooms as mo. So you can see this particular room and this particular room and this particular room that is part of the computer RAM, they have been labeled. And what are types of the labels that have been uh, used here? It is me who chose those labels. Now, I made a mistake which is not deliberate because it is UDOM small cases and we have to be very strict. So this particular room is called UDOM. This particular room is labeled as UD and this particular room is uh, labeled as MO. Mind you, as of now, they are empty. However, you can see the difference between this room and this one is that this one has already been labeled, but this one is still empty and it is not reserved yet. This has already been reserved. That's why it has been called UDOM, but it is still empty. There is no content in it. That one is similar to the case that we are seeing here on the screen where the issue in front of us now, what we are seeing here, is the one room has been called UDOM, one has been called UD, and one has been called MO, just as we can appreciate here on the physical model. Now, when we go to line four, line four is data feeding, data inputting. We want to put data into those spaces in computer RAM, and that data is the data that we are going to process. Now, the type of rooms that we reserved are integer type of variables. So, I am now going to put data into that particular room called UDO, and then I will put data into that particular room called UD. Suppose the data that I put into room UDO is one, two, three, like uh, these stones that I have put in there. And in the room that is called UD, I put one, two. So now you can see the input in UDOM is three, and the input in UD is two. And that concerns line number four. If you come here now, if we are going to talk about line number four, it would signify that in this room, which uh, is called a uh, UDOM, let's say UDOM, and uh, this another room that we have labeled as UD, UD. In UDOM, we have inputted, uh, in UDOM, sorry, in UDOM, we have inputted three. As you can see now, we have three stones there. They are in UDOM. So in here, there must be three as well. And in UD, we have inputted two. You can see now there are two stones here. So here we have two in UD, and we have three inside UDOM. Now, when we come to MO equals to UDOM plus UD, 
the computer or it is two here the computer will come into udom and grab three and ud take two and come to mou this is another variable and five which is the result will be put here there is one thing that i want to tell you and uh, please take it as a very very careful observation here it means what has happened is that two will go there three will go there and in that particular uh, variable we will have five but the computer does something which is not normally done in the other world those copies remain that's why you see what there are still three stones here and uh, so uh, i think you do three and two while we already have five here these are what we call copies that's why you see that although the computer adds we don't delete three here and the two is not deleted because the computer takes this quantity here and this quantity here it adds them we get five and if now we could write another line here c out c out and if we say c out that will be line number six of course then we say c out more so that we can see what is in that variable then our answer would be five so in that regard we have finalized the understanding what happens in the computer concerning our program yet if we come to this particular uh, mode here you can see now these are the uh, the examples of our ram as we saw it physically in the beginning on the top line we can find that they are all free these are the labels now here we have used x y and z but we could have used the uh, ud udom mo you can use sua you can use whatever uh, variables that you want to name then in the uh, following uh, row we have inputted two and three stones there and if you come to see the summation is just like you see here so you can see now in this particular uh, juncture we can show how a program is executed in the computer in those various ways first we can dry run by discussing line by line yet you can use uh, ram diagrams or you can use physical models and you can even as well draw those physical models with that i can say we are through with uh, part 1 of our lessons but before we part please i want you to make sure that you do uh, the exercises which appear in our slide number 8 using mtl physical models show how programs are executed and using ram diagrams show how programs are executed in that regard may i ask you to write a program which is adding three numbers and then using physical models show how that program is executed now because i am not there looking for uh, looking at what you are doing i will expect you to send me a diagram like the one that you see in my slides showing how your physical models represent the type of program that you have written can i tell you thank you and i expect you to go to our google classroom respond to my questions i will mark them and i will send you feedback and if you have any questions let us keep uh, conversing let us keep uh, in touch let us keep communicating through uh the computers through google classroom you can even call me uh through my telephone you are just as well invited if you have any problem we shall uh work together to make sure that uh, at least during these uh hard times you are still uh performing your duties and we are busy building our nation thank you <music>